We've got the biggest boomer. Uh, I thought it was gonna be like me. <laughs> I thought it was gonna be that guy. Who's is there the guy a David that frozen Bacon court? outside? What? David oh yes. David yeah, yeah. Is it time for me to go on? Okay. Oh, go get it. Okay. Go get it. Oh, you got a freaking. Uh, that's cool. <laughs> No coffee, still with Laconia. I still can't remember the goddamn name of the place, but it's Defiant yep. Brewing and uh, Records or something? Beer and Records. Defiant Beer and Records. Yeah. Awesome. And what's your name? I'm Nathaniel Allen. Nathaniel Allen. How long have you been doing comedy? Uh, since about 22, so about two, three years now. Sweet. Awesome. And how do you like the scene around here? Uh, it's small. It's it's a uh, it feels a lot like doing stand up in my living room. But okay. <laughs> it's a uh, it's a good scene. Support. So you scene, live with so. a lot of people then. <laughs> Very, a lot of siblings. Okay, there you go. Sweet. Um, so there's a lot of cards. I don't know if you see anything that uh, interests you, and uh, we pick Let's one out, see. open Let's it see. up, and uh, talk about it for as long or short as you want. Uh, it's see anything I know in here. I think we'll go with Guinness Book of World Records. I love this. Oh, one. fun. Well. Right. Yeah, it was. It was. I love the book too. You would look at all the weird things. What was your favorite record? Uh, I just like looking at them and imagining what their childhood was like. You know, oh. It's like they didn't get enough attention at home, so they're like, look at this weird thing I can do. Am I special yet? And so you're a stand up, you say? Uh, yeah, I'm doing the same <laughs> thing now, so. Let's right. See if I can even open this. It should open. Uh, I think two, maybe two people have opened a pack of uh, those cards. There we go. And Got you it. never know what's going to be inside. All right, we're going to bottom down. Nice. So let's see. The highest diving platform. Mm. Uh, bad, 87 and a half feet. Here, show it to the thing so they can see what just. All uh... right, highest diving platform. Wow. I, uh, That's Acapulco or something like that. Or where's the, where was it? Or in uh, no idea. Venice? This is, uh, yeah, South? Acapulco. Yeah, wow. Mexico. <laughs> what? <laughs> yeah, I uh, I used to like cliff diving. One time when I was little, I um. You redone it? Yeah. So nothing nearly right this level, but I got to like 50 feet one time at the wow. Space in Maine. Wow. And it was the first time I ever did it. I was eight years old. I jumped off and uh, I was looking down through my legs with my legs open and I. Oh. <laughs> just, I came out crying. My mom was like, "Oh my God, he's dead!" And I was like, "I hit my nuts." Right. So. The ladies say it explains a lot. <laughs> All right, we've got a heavy medalist. Oh wow! Right More water. Uh, Two water sports so far. Most Are you into water? Sports? Metals, so <laughs> not really. I like to swim a little bit. I, uh, I jumped in the lake the other day, but it was freezing cold. Mm, yeah, it's still cold up here. Oh yeah, that's what I. That's what I blame this. It's, it's cold out. That's why it's small. Mm, I drove by Winnipesaukee. Uh, yeah. Yeah, that was so beautiful. The the from yeah, Alton yeah. from Alton Al yeah. something to here. That oh my god, yeah, so gorgeous. Yeah, yeah. People will do a big. They'll do a lap around the the whole lake. Yeah, take yeah, their yeah. Motorcycles for motorcycle week. And yeah, yeah, yeah. Beautiful course. drive. Yeah, yeah. This is the Head in the Clouds, world's tallest living woman. Ooh. If anybody has her number, I'm 6'6". Six, six. I only want to date tall women. Uh -huh. <laughs> What's the shortest uh, woman you've dated? Uh, probably five feet tall. Oh, wow. Yeah. And how was that? It <laughs> short-lived. <Spinner>? Short <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> awesome. Uh, all right, what do we got here? Oh, we've got the coolest choker in the room. Oh, nice. Yeah, the longest says, neck. Uh, winners by a long neck. That's right. Right, right, right. Apparently this was, so I know a little bit about this actually. This was supposedly, this was created because there were warring tribes and one tribe would steal the other tribe's women. So they stuck these necklaces on them to make it like, you know how they like, they tag the ear of a cow. Mm -hmm. <laughs> right. This is their version of tagging the, the tagging their cows. Right, 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 right. right. <laughs> I, I've but. heard that some of the like, uh, lip and stuff modification yeah, yeah. was so that they wouldn't be taken as slaves. Oh, but I don't know okay. if that's true. I yeah, remember I that hearing long. that a long time ago though, but that's I don't a, know if that was, you know. that for sure, yeah. but I could, I could see that. Yeah. Uh, what else do we got? I think they just wanted to be giraffes. <laughs> We got a low high point, no idea, the world's flattest land, or to be more precise, the country with the lowest high point in the world. Alright, so it's, it's uh, 
Yeah. Who's that guy? Uh, it almost looks like a Christo wrapped that island because he did those Florida things with the pink thing around it back in the day. I don't know what you're talking about. Yeah, it doesn't matter. He was a uh, he's a uh, he was an artist. Uh, Jean Christo Jean Claude. He like wrapped buildings. He did the Reichstag in Germany. He, he wrapped them like a car. He wrapped them, yeah, like that sort of thing. Okay. And nowadays, when you look at the, the buildings that they're like fumigating, it always reminds me of Christo. But some of the stuff that he did early on, he did in New York. In New York, he did the Gateway or something. He just did all these big things. He always paid for them right. himself. He did a thing with a whole bunch of oil drums one time. He just was an amazing artist. But one of the things he did was, I think, something in the Florida Keys, and it kind of looked like that, and I never noticed it, because that kind of looks pink-ish, the wrapped. sand. He put a pink around these islands oh, for okay, a little while, okay, and okay. then they take the stuff down, then he cuts the stuff and sell, he sold, sold all the things. Of merch almost? Oh, yes, okay, to, okay. to fund all the things. Everything self-funded, people would criticize him. That. People would criticize him for like, oh, the money should have been used for other yeah, stuff. It's yeah. like, what do you, it's like, this is my freaking thing, you know? Yeah, right? yeah. And then you got to experience, not, you know, and it's gone. Yeah, you, that's one of the big things I, I like about modern art is there's that big, it's the experience and then it's over. Because everything nowadays is like, lives forever on the internet. So a lot of right? the experiences that are coming is like, do this now, get it over with, and it's done. And it's, there's no, there's no evidence of it. Yeah, so exactly. It's, it's one of the fun things. That's exactly. Cool. I like that. Yeah. Uh, this right here, we've got flowing locks. Oh, longest hair, maybe. Yeah, world's longest hair, grown by Mata Jagdamba. India. Yeah. That's going to be great on the internet, me trying to pronounce that name. 21 feet of hair. Wow. Uh, we've got the biggest boomer. Uh, I thought it was going to be like me. <laughs> I thought it was going to be that guy. Is Who's there the guy a that frozen bacon court? outside? What? Oh, yes. Yeah, yeah. Is it time for me to go on? Okay. Go get it. Go okay. Get it. Oh, you got a freaking... Uh, that's cool. What are you going to do with bacon, everybody? Shit. Thank you. Uh, oh, sorry I'm missing you guys' uh, stuff. I do a show called Comedians Opening Cards, No Coffee, and a lot of people were doing it tonight, so that's just occurring. Uh, I put it on uh, YouTube. Uh, a whole bunch of really cool comedians have done it, like Gillis and Norman and Ari and uh, Patel and you know whatever. Oh, but we're not here for that. Like, oh, uh, <coughs> what is that? Uh, swa? What's that deck with the S? Swavigi or something? And then they're all the sevens. And then you give them, and it's like one way it works, and then the other. Um, a lot of misfit stuff in here. Uh, I almost think you'd see a noose in this one too. I've seen those a lot lately. Good evening. My name is David Bacon, and yeah, everything is better with me. Thanks for asking. Ladies, gentlemen, my five, I don't know how much time we get. My five minutes might be uh, too meta. Oh, I have, might be too meta for this young crowd. I mean, meta mutual. I want to start by addressing the obvious elephant in the room, all these damn donkeys. That's my political joke. I kind of do improv, but I don't do yes and. I do yes ampersand. <laughs> College grads. Uh, I, this is new. I don't know if you've been to the church or not. They're always passing the collection plate. I don't get it. I thought they already had their profit. They're all this way. The more I learn about the church, the more I think we should change the Lord's Prayer. Shouldn't it end either all boys or young men? This is also new. Of course there's fake news. Cops can legally lie to you. Actors who lie for a living are Oh, fuck. Uh, oh, venerated the most. Books aren't even true or facts. They're non-fiction. It's a real deep one. <laughs> they say the band playing music while the Titanic was sinking were heroic. I don't feel the same way about today's entertainers. 
you notice older guys have a man cave while younger guys have a goon room? Whatever the name, similar things happen in both. I don't know if you guys know those terms. That's even funnier. <laughs> My wife and I got a new dog. She likes to hide so I can't find her. When I call, she doesn't come. I think it might be the name we chose. Perhaps we shouldn't have called her. Anyone want to try this one? Perhaps we shouldn't have called her G-Spot. It's very clever. How am I supposed to wrap my head around AI when I still don't understand E-I-E-I-O? What does that even mean? If you saw the tattoo on my penis, you'd think it said fuck. You would know it says fire truck. I got it from one of those. I'll put your name on a grain of rice, chicks in the city. That's my version of the obligatory comedy open mic, I have a small penis joke. It's so small, I kinda wanna identify as a woman, but just for the name change. So from now on, instead of David Bacon, could you please refer to me as Dick Tracy? Some people are offended by that, but uh, that actual cartoon and show, uh, they were all like freaking, they all had facial deformities, so the show is bad, not the joke. The joke also could be bad. This is the worst one, and I'm gonna end with this, I just wrote it. You gotta remember what my name is. It's so fucking bad, but I love it so much. Whenever I run into an old friend, and they wanna hang, they seem to think I work at a sandwich shop, because they always say, let us catch up, bacon. Thank you very much. You guys can go for David, everybody. David, before you go, is that the handy dandy notebook from Blue's Clues? I don't know, it says, hey, it looks just hey like, lady. Really, okay, I thought it was Steve's <laughs> notebook. I was gonna say, hey, where did you purchase that? Do you have an expert? Do you want to finish the show? I don't know what the... Your next speaker on the stage is a very funny man. He hails all the way here from Nashua. Make his drive more than we'll come back out. Oh, thank you so much. Oh. Yeah, so uh, that's so fun because my set is going to be in between your show. <laughs> There's not all it's packed up to be. That's right. so fun. Yeah, just sign one in the... Well, I have to do my set in between our shows. Oh, so I'm this. still recording. Sorry, dude. I don't care. Well, I'll see you again, I'm sure. It doesn't matter. It's not all that good. Right. We're, signing, we're signing the height. Oh, Tall yeah, Tall women, 5'10 yeah. to 6'2", please. Mm. You gonna, you, if you want, I'll give you my Instagram. <laughs> yeah, you can say say it or whatever you want. You know, yeah, I try to put Nathaniel Allen comedy. Awesome. All like right. what? I'll, like I, I usually Google the people's names before I put yeah, the thing yeah. up, and if I find stuff, I put that on. And if I don't find it, because I have yeah. no social presence except this silly show, and I sell shit on eBay. All right. So, well, give this a quick little signature. Awesome. Just put my name or put a word or anything. I did. There's no rules. No rules. I mean, everyone has done it sort of differently. All right, deal. I'll just do my name. Then. Yeah. Yeah. Awesome. What was your name again? Nathaniel Allen. I know you said it like three times. No awesome. Worries. Go see live comedy because that's where it's happening. <laughs> Good, Thank thanks, so Dave. Much.